Good evening, Kenneth Tortoise Capital, Nightly Strategy Podcast for Friday night, May 17th, 2024, weekend edition, starting with the 30-minute uh, hybrid spring, uh, hybrid swing workshop. This is Alcoa, 30-minute charts. Just notice the blue is the 10-day uh, anchored VWAP. The red is the five-day. The green is the three-day. Uh, this dashed red line here is the Bollinger Band mean. That's the middle of the river. This orange line is the is the dragon. That's a 10-period simple moving average plus or minus 0.15. The yellow box represents Friday's trade action. So opened with a gap up, broke through the PSAR, long with the standard risk, sold it when it rolled over and was approaching the VWAP for about an R. AI, no, um, gap up, uh, breaking, uh, breaking the PSAR, I thought. Uh, standard risk for a scratch. Caterpillar. Uh, this was nice. Uh, Thursday had the big sell-off. Uh, Friday, it gapped up and kept going, broke through the PSAR, so we get long. Standard risk. With uh, relying on the support of the 30-day and the 10-day anchored VWAPs. Hoping to get to the 3-day and the 5-day. And it did, and when it came back, we exited for one R. Good trade. There's more coming on that one. Cliff, uh, collapsing dragon, short. Uh, sold off hard, reversed. Exited the skin of the dragon for one R. CVS, uh, Collapsed through the PSAR and the VWAP, got short with standard risk, really didn't go anywhere, took the exit at the skin of the dragon for a fraction. DIA, uh, this was a, a series of trades. First, on the breakdown, one, two, three, short, reversed for a scratch, reversed to go long, and it failed for minus 0.5. It reversed. I thought about re-entering here, but it was close to the end of the day, and I missed that move. So minus 0.5 on diamonds. Disney uh, tried the PSAR flip short scratch. Uh, Devon Energy. Uh, this was a afternoon trade, a one, two, three entry, crossing the VWAP long, standard risk, uh, 2R. That one surprised me. Uh, while we're here, let's go just take a look at energy real quick. Um, this was the energy sector that helped lift Devon Energy on the trade we just saw. So gap up, one, two, three, entry, long, standard risk. Second position on a two-hour battle drill. Reverse near the end of the day. Uh, one, two, three, four R on this one. About two R on that one. So that netted about six. That same energy, uh, the energy and energy was favorable. And that's what helped lift uh, Devon Energy in this afternoon move. Uh, emerging markets, gap up and go. Half an R, no follow through. Ethereum, this was nice. This was the first time it's been across the daily Bollinger Band, too. So this close on Thursday, gap up on Friday, runs up, comes back, goes up again, like it, long, standard risk. And it stalls. I take the exit here at the skin of the dragon for 2R, and I like the way it closed. Watch for that next week. Here's why I say that. Um, on the daily chart, uh, it's been in a, in a funk. 
and it's held support and it just broke the middle of the river looking for this and then this all right back to the 30 minute mexico Close Friday, the open or the close Thursday, open Friday, continuation of this upward trend. So I buy it here. Standard risk runs up, fades 0.5. And then nothing the rest of the day. Brazil tried the breakout long, failed for half an hour. Re-entry on a one, two, three as it broke through the PSAR. Get I get the half back, so that nets nets out to zero for the day. Home Depot, an afternoon trade on a one, two, three um, for two R. Honeywell. Uh, here was a nice sell-off. I did not get it short because I have a psychologically a hard time shorting them, but that's a one, two, three long comes back to the skin of the dragon take point five be happy intel um missed that one missed the short ip tried the gap and go scratch iyr no trade uh coca-cola this was a complex one so this was Thursday's sell-off. The short continued, so we re-entered short, ran all the way down, then all the way back up, cashed it, missed that move, came back down and broke through the VWAP here, kept going, so I get short, same risk, almost the same price level, almost the same trade for another one. So we'll take two on the downside. KRE was a uh, clear break above the PSAR, standard risk, standard exit for one. The uh, Magnificent Seven were sideways. McDonald's was a short when it broke through the Bollinger Band mean early in the day, sold off all day, held support at the 10 and 30 day VWAP, came back, exited at the skin of the dragon for about an R, 3M. Tried the gap and go, failed for an R. Merck. Uh, morning hook. Crossing the VWAP entry with standard risk for about half. Just trying to make contact. Uh, the short continued today. Uh, short, standard risk, half an R. Story of the day. Uh, marijuana, big time collapse from Thursday, crossing the Bollinger Band main short with a standard risk. R10 reverses, exit skin of the dragon for 1R. Nike, no trade. NVIDIA, the tech slide continued all day for 2R. Clean energy, afternoon short, and... Uh, Actually, made it, the morning short scratched. The afternoon short gave us a half an hour. Palantir, uh, the gap and go. Came back to earth to preserve one R. It rolled over when it went through the piece R short. Exit for one R. So that netted two. Tesla um, broke out of the dragon, crossed the, uh, you know, here's the gap down opening. Uh, 
the gap down opening, morning hook, through the Bollinger band main, through the anchored VWAPs, long standard risk, runs straight up, comes back. That was enough to give back. I would normally get out here, but that was already a big give back. And I wanted to lock into our Walmart uh, gap and go for 1R. U.S. Steel, the big collapse. This is a continuation of Thursday's short. Broke below Thursday's low, so just re-entered the short. Sells off hard, reverses hard. One, two, three, four R. Check. No overnight risk. They're not going to let China own U.S. Steel, and the competing bid for to uh, with cash is a lot less than the Chinese offer. So price is coming back to earth. Materials ground their way up. Energy was at double position for six, as we saw already. Finance um, caught a two. Scratch. Uh, this was the industrial sector. The short from Thursday kind of continued. Short, standard risk, sell off, skin of the dragon, 1R. Stop me if you've heard that before. XLK, short continued. When this rolled over, so you got this on Thursday, and Friday rolls, this fails to work. This comes back down. This is a cotta two short. You can almost consider that a collapsing dragon short. Exit 1R. Reasonable day on a chop on a choppy choppy market. Three minute charts. This is Mexico. That's your opening range three minute. So we typically like to bracket that. We'd like to get long from here or be ready to go short from there. Short, standard risk, cover for a fraction. Reversal. Standard exit, the skin of the dragon for 3R. Missed the short. Tried the long, scratched. Thought about the short, but it was getting towards lunch. So about 3R. Let's take a quick look at the traders. I said there was not much work from them, but uh, we'll get it done in just a minute. All right, here's the traders from Friday. There's George. Tries the short, cuts it quick for a fraction. This is, that's the reversal. He could even get it in here, but this is a clear entry. He gets the second leg, though. Excellent exit for 0.7. Um, there is a two-to-one reward-to-risk ratio in here because you find the low of the day, and you add a range stat to it, which is well off the chart for the maximum reasonable move to the upside. And then if your entry is here with a reasonable stop like that, or even here, you've, you've clearly got two. So use the range stat as your upper limit. Um, it tries to cut it two, cuts it. I might have cut it here at the skin of the dragon. That's supposed to work right away. When it doesn't and it hits the skin of the dragon, take that exit. And then you could be short here like you did, which was fine. And then that's a reversal that's open. And you can even take this one. And you can take that one. That's EWW on three-minute charts. That thing trades like that all day. So there's much more there than you captured. Uh, this is Kevin with 0.4 on the 30-minute chart. Or no, I'm sorry. This is the 10-minute chart on EWW. 
Um, that's when he started the trade. He gets this, which is about the worst exit you could get all day, but still 0.4. And using a full frog box as a wider stop. You know, in my view, when this R10 rolls over, you should be taking that exit here instead of here. And now you get the time value of money plus an improvement of that much. And this one is, oh, he's tried it on the once. High adventure. Now he's able to get the morning positions pretty nicely for 0.2 and 1.6 quick scratch quick scratch and some micro winners or losers netting 1.8 really nice work all right let's hit the weekend report Bullish normal, extremely strong. Bullish green, risk on with abnormally good volatility. That's all good. 100% exposed in ETF2. The winners continue to win heavy on tech. Right. Mark it on the three days. That's a cot of two and very good. That little doji says it could really break hard in either direction. On the nine day, that is a clear winner. So everything looks pretty strong from the three day and nine day. I like that. 150 day look back, push to all time highs today. Um, you can see all of the Anchored VWAP's looking good. The 150, the, th uh, the 30, the 10, the 5, and the 3. Everything's looking good. Well, I've added these little reminders of where the support and resistance are, so you can see. Like that little gap up and go is why that's a cr critical price level. This little continuation level, that's why this one's there. The bottom of the Kata 2 right here. The 30-day low coinciding with the R10 reversal. The bottom of the Dragon. The um, uh, Bollinger Band mean where the PSARs are flipping. The five-day low, the one-day low. So that's how you systematically find critical price levels and, you know, for price targets and support. Um, the daily looks good. Closed right near the high on the week, going into the weekend. The 30-minute shows this, that the strength of this move is supported and stable going into the weekend. That's your three-day, five-day, and 10-day anchored VWEPs. Uh, positive for the whole week everywhere you look. Emerging markets and internationals did really well. EPP, they've been having a nice run. Mid-caps remain strongest, but the U.S. took a little pause. There's... There was a pause. And the globals really took over. Dow 30 financers, financial is doing really well. 3M just continues to amaze. But otherwise, Goldman, AXP, Morgan, Travelers.
finance continues to dominate. Uh, among the internationals, China had a really strong recovery. Wow. Most of that three-month performance was this month. So they are en fuego. And Brazil is due for a recovery. World market model, uh, tech, and the mid caps, large caps doing well in the U.S. China's on fire. Gold and silver as defensive positions have been doing really well. In the U.S., uh, mid caps, large caps, tech, and then small caps. The S and P has been better than EFA, but it's they're closing the gap inside the uh, sector spiders, utilities, finance, and industrials, uh, and then equities have been crushing all of the other asset classes except gold, which is on a historic run. This is China, green and white. Was good, now great. Exploit new strength, new leadership. There's enough liquidity in it too to to uh, to trade it short term. We'll run to the daily. You've seen the sniper trade already. We'll go to dashboard one. That's two. Yeah, so in dashboard one, the Dow, uh, lots of strength. Be looking to keep exploiting those. Walmart, 3M, JP Morgan, Boeing, Caterpillar has some ground to make up. Every time NVIDIA goes down, it's just me backing up the truck ready to buy more on a dip. Let's check the ETFs next. Yeah, had some. The globals have been really doing well. Emerging markets. Asia less Japan. Uranium's been on a run. Energy. And a big breakout, metals and mining. Anytime you see that kind of triple or the quadruple stack of green, that's that's something that's breaking out to a six month high, as well as three one and ten day highs. Uh, it's kind of new strength. Um, plenty to choose from in the auto framer. And many squeezes from Friday. That lack of volatility is going to set up a nice springboard for Monday. And of real importance on that is that the market itself was one of the squeezed. And there's small caps in the Dow and tech. Uh, materials, mid caps. So the whole market was is squeezing like a spring and ready to break uh, with a big jump. So that's going to be good. Lots of strength all over, more so in the internationals. There were some notable weaknesses and sell-offs here in the, in the large caps in the U.S.,
the pause that refreshed on Friday. The RL slope has really improved from this move. When it crosses over outside of the outside of the yellow band, that's usually a good sign for a turning point. And our last little chart here, this this little coming together is kind of interesting. You know, the 90 is descending and starting to make a recovery. The 30 has been powering north based on the strength in the 10. But now the question is, can the 10 continue to go and keep dragging these boys higher? Uh, I think so, because it's above that all-time high. And it was so complacent on Friday that I'm not surprised if we see a strong move this coming up week. All right, that's everything for today. We'll get this published and posted. Thanks for your kind attention. Keep trading.